breaking news is that Kumasi Asante Kadoko half parted company with their head coach Maxwell Kaledu. This is how we we'll begin the Nabila show on Mutao Nabila Abla YouTube channel, your home of exclusivity. Um, just as usual, what we do is we go behind and bring you the stories uh, that, uh, that happened before the key stories are broken to the general public. So, the management of Kotoko, specifically the chief executive officer of the club, has harbored the idea of replacing Maxwell Konedu for some time now. Um, as recent as last week when the club played Legon Cities, um, he, he, he apparently uh, had reservations about the performance of team and according to close sources, he has said that anytime the, the, the club scores one, they always sat at the back. Uh, he felt that the team lacked creativity, he felt that the team lacked ingenuity and overall, when all these things are happening, um, according to sources close to the chief executive officer of the club, um, the issue is about coaching. So the decision is that Maxwell Konedu should go after leading the club in five matches. I say five matches because they have played their first game which was against 11 Wonders. And they were also far away in Mauritania to come against Noahibu where that game ended 1-1. They also played Brekum Chelsea and drew 1-1 as well. Then just recently, they played... Uh, Legon City, they won by one goal to zero. And um, on Thursday, uh, December 17, they lost by one goal to zero to Olympics. And this is what has broken the camel's back. Um, I had had conversation with people who are close to the head coach of the team. Um, and this was last week, Friday, where uh, those sources have told me that the chief executive officer has promised Miss Matthew Konedu to concentrate and do his job because they felt that there were some powers behind that wanted Master Konedu replaced so that they'll put the team in disarray for those powers to get them. However, the core thing was that they always wanted to replace Maxwell Konedu. So, since that uninspiring performance, they describe it against Tachima 11 Wonders. However, they wanted to give him the first five matches to prove himself. And after playing five matches, they felt that Maxwell Konedu um, is not the right man to lead the club. On the interim, um, Johnson Smith uh, takes over as uh, the acting uh, coach of the team on the interim and that uh, whilst the club goes out there to uh, search for a coach. Um, before the chief executive officer took the decision to part company with Maxwell Konedu, um, he had spoken to a, a couple of the board members um, who appear a bit divided about the decision. And they also decided to speak to some technical people who have got technical knowledge on the game to find out um, whether uh, Maxwell Konedu was a problem. Uh, most of them said that Maxwell is not a problem. Uh, others also believe that a new, the, 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 the engineer injection of a new technical direction for the team, uh, it could change the fortunes or the narrative of the team uh, as uh, this season goes on and considering that they have a very packed fixture shadow. Uh, um, they were advised to invite the chief executive officer to explain why um, he's replacing Maxwell Konedu. Um, as to when that meeting is going to happen, that we cannot clearly tell. Uh, but what we do know is that um, he didn't take the decision unilaterally. Uh, the chief executive officer spoke to some members of the board before the decision was taken. Um, we already knew other things about how uh, even Maxwell Konedu was already facing uh, the sack. Uh, from 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 Kotoko, uh, because um, uh, the former uh, executive chairman, the person of Dr. Kwameche, who is now the board chairman of the club, uh, couldn't have his way uh, with certain things and felt that uh, Maxwell already was not the the, the, the right coach. Uh, when he brought Maxwell Konedu, he told the supporters that you you asked me to bring Maxwell and I brought him. So in other words, he was not the one who brought Maxwell. That supporters asked for Ma Maxwell and he brought him. So that's what literally happened. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, we've spoken to people close to Maxwell Konedu um, long ago who, who clearly indicated to us that um, Maxwell was never afraid of the sack. Uh, but what, what is quite surprising is that assure him of his job and then the, the next time you, you, you replace him. That is uh, what is a bit surprising. Now, had it not been for the... The, the delay uh, in the start of the, the season and also uh, coupled with the other issues that um, His Majesty Otunfo said to do, had to set up uh, 
a committee to investigate matters in relation to the club. If the committee was still in charge of the club, Maxwell Kunado would have been sacked long ago. However, we have made to understand that the most important thing for the, the, the management is to perform well in Africa and even to His Majesty Otun for a certitude. People who are likely to replace Maxwell Kunado, um, we, we, we gather they might go for an expatriate, but uh, so far uh, the direction of Kotoko doesn't appear that they want to go for an expatriate, but uh, the chief uh, Nanayao has had his way with the board a couple of times, so Maybe if he wants his an expatriate, he, he might just be allowed to bring in an expatriate. Uh, already the bill of Kotoko is so huge that uh, the board is already uh, talking about yes, a huge bill, players on, on say over 6,000 Ghana City salaries, somehow taking dollars. Uh, you sack Maxwell Kanadu, you have to pay him a severance package of one year, uh, which will mean that he's, he could be walking away. Uh, understand he was his salary is like three thousand dollars per month, it, which would mean that if you're paying one year severance package, the parties come to an agreement. If you don't come to an agreement, you, know, you have to pay everything in full, and that's going to be huge debt for Kotoko. Uh, most of the players already sacked are also owed loads of money. But let's look at it. Does David Duncan feel that? He's got an unfinished business with Kotoko, which reports that he should be he should be uh, replaced at the Black Stars level. Uh, if that is the case, then I think that uh, he's available to come in uh, for Kotoko. I've not spoken to him, uh, but I think that um, uh, David Duncan will be a perfect man for for Kotoko. Uh, how he left the club unceremoniously is one thing that is that that I feel that David Duncan will always believe that he has an unfinished business with Kotoko. Then there is Ignacio Josef also who has done so well for himself at uh, Liberty Professional now at 11 Wonders. Uh, is Kotoko job too big for him at the moment? That we cannot clearly tell, but it would be interesting to see what, what, uh, what would happen if he's given the opportunity to, to manage a club like Kotoko. DG Dramani is completely out. I don't see how he will leave Norges uh, and return to Kotoko. But we can look at someone like uh, Ibrahim Tanko, whom I believe is available in the market. Because um, he was linked with the move to Legon Cities after the the they sacked Goran Barakterovic, I I was reliably told that it was even the president of the Ghana FA who spoke to Ibrahim Tanko on behalf of Legon Cities, and then even when Hasafu also needed a coach, it was the president again who spoke to him. Uh, so I think that Maxwell um, uh, Ibrahim Tanko will be available in the market if. Uh, Kotoko do need him to, 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 to manage the club. He's got a very good relationship with the club. He's got a very good relationship with the board. I don't know of the management, but I think that if Nanaya and Posa would fancy working with him, Ibrahim Tanko would be another perfect man to take over the mantle of Kumasi as Sanchi Kotoko. Then the expatriate conversation. An expatriate is going to come in. We cannot clearly tell for now, but what it, what it appears that because of the network of Nanayo and Ponsa, um, it will it will it will be easier. It will be it will be extremely easier for him to get an expatriate to to manage the club at the moment. But what we do know is that. Uh, Johnson Smith will going to be take charge on the interim until such a time that they they find a replacement for uh, Maxwell uh, Konedu. The other part that we are bringing to you on the Nabila show is that five players have taken Asante Kotoko to the Players Status Committee. These players, Stephen Ayuku, um, whom we understand uh, is likely to make close to 34,000 Ghana cities should the Players Status Committee rule in his favor. There's also Douglas Owusu Ansa and Evans Yeboah has also taken Asante Kotoko to the Players Status uh, Committee. Uh, Abbas Mohamed, uh, who is currently with Mediama FC, has also taken the club to the Players Status Committee. So, and then Calvin Andor. So these are the five players who have taken the club to the Players Status Committee. And combined, Kotoko is likely to be paid about 250,000 Ghana cities should the Players Status Committee uh, find Kotoko uh, culpable of breach of contract with these players. We've also been made to understand that FIFPRO uh, is monitoring this situation and have given the players their backing to go to the Players Status Committee. We understand that the PFAG um, have also been backing these players after most of them described the decision of the club to uh, render them um, surplus requirement in the team as constructive dismissal. The, the other interesting thing about one player too is that we're talking about a player like Martin Enchi, a former player of Wafa, he was a skipper of the side. And uh, when he came to Kotoko, he was an integral member of CK Akuno setup. But unfortunately, um, things couldn't go well under the tutelage of Maxwell Konedu. 
Um, but our sources, Maxwell had told him that he was not going to be part of his plans when the team were in Koforidua for their pre-season campaign. And, but um, Martin and she refused to move on, even when there was an offer from Kalala United for him to go on loan. He chose to stay at Kotoko and then receive his salary. Just recently, um, he, he said he has been disrespected by the club because they've not given him the new kit to train and uh, whatever services they are supposed to render to him have not been rendered uh, to him. So he felt that um, uh, it was becoming um, one too many for him to continue to spend his money to come for training and all that and that he was not going to, to come to the training grounds again. Um, we understand the coaches uh, had no reservation about his decision not to come to training ground because they had already, already made it clear to him that he was not going to be part of the team for the season. However, Martin thought maybe um, training seriously would convince the coaches to give him a look in. But um, it ended that he had to, to, to stay away from the team uh, because he's not training with the kids. He doesn't have the new apparel from area who are the new kit sponsors uh, for the team. We are also made to understand that when the players uh, went to meet the player status committee, some of them were owed some October salaries. Um, on their way back after the meeting with the player status committee, um, they, they paid the, 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 the money uh, due them. That is extremely interesting. And then we were also made to understand that some of them had uh, told the administrative manager of the club, we have not cross-checked with the administrative manager of the club, to confirm whether they actually told him that they had no money to come to training grounds when Kotoko in their defense told the player status committee that the players have refused to come to training. And uh, some of them had said that they spent close to 35 cities to go for training. And then, um, so in a day, if the training session is twice, they will spend like 70 Ghana cities to go for training because the team does not pick them to training. Uh, so when the the, 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 the club defended the player status committee that the players don't come for training. One of them said that he personally complained to the administrative manager. But like I mentioned, we've not cross-checked there, so we cannot um, authoritatively say that that, that that is what has happened. But what we can report to you is that five players have taken contact to the player status committee, and these players could be walking away with about 250,000 Ghana cities should the player status committee um, rule that Kotoko have dismissed these players constructively. The other thing is that Maxwell Konedu has been sacked as a head coach of the team and his assistant coach um, who was brought in from Kayola to assist um, uh, uh, him uh, to assist Jatun uh, Zakaresin before uh, Maxwell came in uh, is now going to be uh, in, in, in charge of the team. That is basically what we've got for you today. I am Muftar Nabila Abla and this is the Nabila Show on Muftar Nabila Abla YouTube channel. Thanks very much for joining us.